All right, I saw I did an intro for this video, but apparently I didn't, and it's already like three days later, but we're gonna go hit a couple of spots and see what all we can catch on this uh, reel that a subscriber gave me. And you'll see in the video, it's it's not bad. I do like this reel, but um, I have no idea where he got it on TikTok shop. I don't have TikTok anymore. And I tried searching it on Google and all that so that I can find you know, a link to put in the description and can't find anything. But anyway, it's a little 500 size reel with some four pound test on it. Not a bad little reel. I really appreciate the subscriber for giving it to me. I apologize for not remembering your name. I'm bad with names, but anyway, let's get on the road and catch some fish. Uh, you'll have to excuse the noise behind me. The road crew's coming through mowing the sides of the road. And I am going to thoroughly regret wearing this hoodie. It was nice and cool that one. I left the house earlier. All right, well, that was pretty quick and nothing, not even a bite. And of course, as soon as I start to leave, fish start jumping. But there is a lot, a lot of shad and carp in here right now. And the only way I can really tell that is it will clear up, the water will clear up and it'll just go muddy, like the flip of a switch. Carp and shad both feed off the bottom, feed on algae and stuff like that. They're making it hard to catch anything. On top of that, there's a dead deer laying on the side of the road right here next to where I'm parked at. And it doesn't smell like a bed of roses, so we're going to head somewhere else. Probably the crappie spot, but if possible, the other side of that bridge and see what's biting on that side. Fish. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it'd be. A little gill. That's a fish. Well, I wasn't exactly prepared for that one, so. <laughs> Another gill. Well, we're not skunk, that's all that matters. But, yeah. I just don't have the confidence in this side of this bridge. That's why I don't fish it very often. And what's the hell am I hung on? We got something. Ain't big, but it's something. <sighs> Another blue of the gills. Well, you're not what I came up here after, but we'll take you. I tell you what, them fish are cold. This is also the third spot we've been to. Fishing is definitely, definitely slow today. Well, <laughs> maybe that Berkeley Gulp I had on like an hour ago still has some life to it. It was already starting to harden up. Skadoosh. I'm also trying to be a little bit quiet because there is somebody on the other side of this bridge. Fish. Are you what we came here for? You are. And you're barely hooked. 
So do us both a favor and stop all that shenanigans. A little black crappie. This is honestly one of the last places that I come to for crappie. It does carry them pretty regularly. It looks a little bit yellower than it actually is just because of my shirt. But uh, yeah, this is one of the last places that I come looking for crappie. And I think if we had went to the crappie spot, or the side we usually fish at the crappie spot, we probably would have caught quite a few more. But there's somebody pulled up there as soon as I parked. That's another species, a little reddier. That one hit like a freaking brick. That's a, yeah, that's definitely a fish. What is that? Oh, it's not as big as I thought it was. Still a nice one, though. That's a little bass fish. Got a little pigment thing going on there. Got a solid dark spot. Yeah, that one's about three quarters of a pound. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But yeah, if I haven't informed you already, or if you don't know already, these little Berkeley gulps, well, you probably can't see that, but these little Berkeley gulps, or the, even the big ones, it doesn't matter. If you leave them attached to your hook, they will shrink up. They will dry out and they'll be hard as a freaking rock. Well, in the probably 30 minutes or so of driving around trying to find somewhere else to fish from the, the crappy spot, this one started to get a little bit harder. The plus side of that is not when they're hard as a rock, but when they're starting to firm up, uh, Berkeley Gulp do get quite a bit more durable. But by then, they don't have as much you know, action or scent to them. This ain't so much a trying to find fish kind of trip. It's just really just experimenting with this uh, TikTok reel that a subscriber gave me. And I must say, it is not a bad reel. It does have some minor things that I don't like as far as the way it's built goes, but it is what it is. I mean, they're not problems that would keep me from ever using this reel again but anyway this is a 500 size reel that they got off of tiktok i cannot find a brand anywhere on it kind of looks like a lose but it's not too awful heavy for its size smooth good comfortable epa grip the drag is actually pretty impressive um the one thing that i don't like is even when you know this little knob is tightened down all the way there's still a little bit of flex in the handle right there again not that that's a huge deal because it's not that much flex but it's there but so far it's not been a bad little reel i, I will say that i do like this reel Well, that's something we're not unfamiliar with. <laughs> Snagging and breaking off. If there was an Olympic gold medal for that, best bet we'd have that shit. All right, it's been like two days. I'm going to another spot and my battery light comes on on my vehicle. I'm like, well, shit, it's probably the battery or the alternator. It's one of the two. Well, tinkering with it. Decided it wasn't an alternator, which either way, it wouldn't have been a big deal because alternators on the 3.4 V6s ain't hard to change. So, decided on it being a battery, got a new battery put on it, and it seems to be 
working fine. It was just an older battery and come toward the end of its life cycle and running out of cranking amps. So today before I head out, I decided to come out here and kind of mow over all the leaves that had piled up in my yard and you know get them blown off to one side that way the yard looks a little bit better and it's been less than an hour and look at this this is <laughs> this is about a quarter of what i had already mulched up and blown off to one side which i just put it all against the fence but yeah it would start uh or the leaves would start you know coming off the trees quicker after i mulched them and blew them off to one side so Oh well. Anyway, it's kind of drizzled the last day or so, and I figured why not we'll head back out this afternoon and see if we can find anything to kind of wrap up this video because, hey, it's just another one of those things, you know, you get out and try to find some fish and spot hop and can't find hardly anything anywhere. But we didn't get skunked, so that's all that matters. So anyway, I'm gonna get this vehicle of mine cleaned out and reorganized because it's a friggin' disaster again. And we're gonna head out to the water. Don't know where we're gonna go or what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go somewhere. All right, finally rigged up with the TikTok reel and fishing spot. I ain't fished in well, since probably fall of this last year, mostly because this was all grown up. Hey, that one hooked itself for a second. I don't know what that was, probably a little bluegill or red breast or something. He just showed up out of nowhere and didn't get hooked good enough. Hey. Ain't caught one of you in a minute. Well, from this creek at least. Man, that is one. He got loose and he was a little bit prettier, but <laughs> pretty uh, warm mouth. Until he got all dirty, you can see his eyes a lot, a lot brighter than what they were. Got the picture. Let's get it back. I can definitely tell this bank is wearing away pretty good too, because used to, like you can see this little bit of a lip right here. It used to just be over there. Now it's working its way over here. I don't plan on staying at this spot for very long because I'm actually planning on working on or finishing another video today. And I need to just quit making videos altogether. Like in the sense of starting one, not finishing it, and starting another one. Because right now I've got three videos sitting on my phone that I've started and not finished. Well, one is part of a little piece to include in one, not an actual video. Oh, that was a crappie. That's the first crappie that I've seen in this whole creek this year. Got you that time. This is... Chill out, hombre barely hooked too and that is one of the prettiest white crappie i've caught in a long time too and he's got a scar there something got a hold of him now you skinny too two three four five yeah whole white crappie as i said a billion times before the dorsal spine it'll have four to six spines on it or dorsal fin and then obvious vertical bars documented let's get it back oh a little bit of both up And again, I don't have a clue who actually makes this. It's probably China that makes everything else sold on TikTok and Timu and all that. But it's a nice little reel. I mean, I don't have any real issues with it at all. Like even with the knob on the other side tightened down, this still has a little bit of wobble. But it's not so bad that it's not usable. Like it's a decent reel. Smooth, got a decently smooth drag that responds properly. I'm not sure what their gear ratio is, but seems to be fairly fast. What are you? 
you're actually putting up a fight. What in the world? What in the world? Little red breast sunfish. It's weird to see red breast this late in the year in any of these creeks around here. Like, it's, well, y'all are seeing this in November, like mid November. Those creeks should be, or red breast should be gone by now. Ooh, dude, what the heck? That was one of the hardest hitting yellow perch that I have had in a long time. Yeah, you're being a. Like that thing just T boned it. Like harder than a lot of bluegill I've caught. Documented. Let's get it back. Now this is a creek that I've done a bunch of videos on. I made, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check those videos out. There's some older videos. Um, I've caught everything from, well, anything that I've caught in the section where Creek Fishing Adventures and I recently fished. Catfish, bluegill, crappie, bass. Heck, I've caught gar out of here. Like spotted gar, cause we don't have alligator gar here in Tennessee but definitely caught some good crappie out of this one too gotcha that was as soon as it hit the water too i have to really really watch because well that that branch is a whole tree and there's like three different branches that i can get uh, hung on right there But yeah, this is like the third day of working on this video because the first day got cut short, automotive issues, which, hell, that's nothing new anymore. Well, especially when you got a vehicle that's got almost 375,000 miles on it. And then the next day was dealing with yard work stuff and YouTube stuff. Snag number two and break off number two. Well, the question is, do I want to retie and fish for a few more minutes? Or do I want to go ahead and call it quits and go work on this other video? I mean, I've caught enough to kind of get a point across for this little reel. You know, it's a nice looking reel. The paint's kind of garbage because it scuffs off pretty easy. But, you know, that's cosmetic. I don't care about, you know, cosmetic stuff getting scratched up or whatever stuff like this or items like this knives rods they're tools they're meant to be used they're meant to be scuffed up and you know beat up and used so as far as you know the paint chipping don't care i mean there's some paint not in some of the spots the paint's not even as thick but overall it's not a bad reel um if i knew exactly where you could find this reel i would leave a link i mean go on tiktok shop i guess i wouldn't know i deleted my tiktok account with like thirty-five thousand followers on it just because i don't like tiktok anymore but solid reel definitely worth it so keep an eye out if you're on the tiktok shop buy you one they're not bad anyway what to do, what to do. All right, well, I'm deciding to call it quits. Got enough to, you know, give a decent review on this reel, which I've probably already said it multiple times in the video. This is a good reel. I don't know where to look for on TikTok shop because I don't have it. But if you do, just look for that reel. It's solid. But caught a good variety of species, a good variety of fish. And yeah, now that I know that this spot here has crappie actively biting, I'm going to be back down here pretty soon. Probably more often than I have the other creek because that one's just getting old.
but it's the same creek it's just a different spot but this is a fairly popular local spot it is actually on private land but the landowners know people come down here and fish and apparently they're okay with it i mean i've been fishing it for what two years now and nothing's ever been said to me so cutting the corn in the field next to where i park at so they know people are down here and they never say anything so anyway i'm gonna get this reel changed out for the other one that actually i have paired for this rod it's got some two pound tests on it i'm gonna work on that video so that i can stay ahead of my schedule so anyway hope you like the video check out all the links in the description especially the top ones those are my affiliate links anytime you buy something through those links i get a little bit of a commission off of that also with the one use code creek 10 for some reason it won't let me post the entire affiliate link but if you use code creek 10 it does the same thing i get some commission off of that sale so hope you like the video we'll see you in the next